My name is Goyan, and I am going to introduce the riboflavin. Riboflavin, B2R, where R represents riboflavin. It is also known as barber yellow enzyme of respiration. It is also called, also used for food coloring agent. Like if you want to, in India, if you want to change the color of uh, foods, you can use B2R. It changes yellow to orange. And next, it is heat stable and light sensitive. Active form. It can be dimethyl isoalexyl base. Right. It can be dimethyl alexyl ring. And when this ring connected with ribitol, when this ring connected with ribitol is called riboflavin. When it connected with the phosphate, it is called flaming monolithic. When it connected with the phosphate, now it is called FMN. And when this FMN connected with the adenosine monophosphate, and when this FMN connected with the AMP, Then it is called flaming adenine dinucleotide F A D. These are the co active coenzymes. This F A D and F M N are the coenzymes. So next slide, please. So I'm going to introduce now the, the next coenzymes. This energy is generated in vitamin which involves in the cellular respiration and especially involves in oxidation reduction reaction. The reaction catalyzed by FMN, this includes L amino acid oxidase. In FMN, L amino acid oxidase. Monoamine oxidase. Mono amine oxidase and the very important complex one is NADH dehydrogenase. That's complex one NADH dehydrogenase. This is FAD. Now come to the FAD. This is the second coenzyme. This FAD accepts hydrogen and converted into FADH2. The first reaction is the succinate dehydrogenase. This yes. succinate dehydrogenase. It is complex too. And next one is SI coenzyme A dehydrogenase. This is SI coenzyme dehydrogenase. Then deoxy amino acid oxidase. This is deoxy this. Okay. And then next is xanthine oxidase and glutathione peroxidase. Next slide is sources of riboflavin. Sources of riboflavin is liver, kidney, of the meat. Like if you are not vegetarian, you can take it from the liver, kidney. If you are and if you are only vegetarian, you can get this by dairy products like milk products. And outer layer of cereal, like uh, beans, grams, pulses, uh, the outer layer of the pulses and grams, you can take it from there. Recommendation dietary allowance, like if you, you can, uh, necessary is 1.5 mg per day, it will be a detriment body. Next slide, please. Deficiency, glossitis. Glossitis. Glossitis uh, is a deficiency called uh, the patches, the red patches on the tongue. And the uh, chalosis and angular stomata, it is the, both the deficiencies is little bit uh, same, in which it affected the corners of the mouth and it causes the swelled red patches. Corneal vascularization. Corneal vascularization, it is the 
that is the formation of excessive blood, uh, blood vessels in the cornea. So that's all for my topic. I hope you like it. Thank you.